Hi guys, this is Lam Kumar and in this video I'm going to explain to you how to perform a vulnerability scan using Ironwork. Now there are different ways in which you can perform the scan. I'll explain all of them. The easiest way to perform a scan is to type in the URL of your target here and click on the start scan button. Even though this is the most easiest way to perform the scan, it does not give you the best coverage. So I'll explain the second method which is simpler to perform at the same time it gives you the best possible coverage so you go to tools and click on browser based crawler because the first uh, step of performing a scan is to crawl the website so you can make use of the automated crawler that is built into ironwasp so you enter the url of your target and you click on start now what this does is it actually opens up a google chrome browser and it uses this browser to crawl through the target website now because it uses a real browser it has good coverage of the target website now even though it has good coverage uh, compared to traditional uh, crawlers the problem here is if the site has a complicated functionality or if there is a login page involved then the crawler cannot automatically you know uh, uh, go through them really well so at places like these you have to crawl the website manually so you can click on this button which would open up another uh, browser and you could visit the website again and this time you could browse through the website manually okay i logged out of it now the browser that opened up it's automatically configured to use ironwasp as a proxy and if you're going through an ssl website then it'll automatically handle the ssl errors as well so you don't really have to worry about uh, any of that now as you browse through the website manually all the logs which were generated by the browser are captured in the log section of ironwasp now all that we have to do is start a scan on these logs so we could do that by going to the sitemap and uh, we right click on the host that we want to scan and we select scan branch so this opens up a wizard now i could just click next 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 and at uh, the customization phase now because some sections of the site were only accessible after performing a login uh, to scan those sections we would have to make use of a login recording now i have already recorded a login so i'll make use of that here uh, in a different video, I'll explain how to create a login recording yourself. So you can find out how to do that by looking at that video. So I've selected my login recording here. I click on next, start scan. Uh, it'll ask me if, uh, if, it, if it needs, uh, you know, if I could assist in selecting which request to scan. I'll say no for now. Okay, so what it does now is it selects all the requests from the logs and it starts scanning them one by one. Uh, so this is a, and you could actually see that it has discovered some uh, sql injection vulnerabilities as well as it's performing the scan and because we selected the login recording uh, it will find out if you're logged into the website if you're not logged in it will log you in and then it will continue with the web uh, with the scan now there's another way to perform a scan which is once you have a log captured you could right click on that and say select this for scanning and you could perform a scan on that specific uh, request and you could select a specific vulnerability check uh, and you can also be specific about which parameter in the request you want to scan you can select all parameters or you could just go and select a specific parameter uh, to scan so you have that option all right so once the scan gets complete the vulnerabilities or as the scan runs the vulnerabilities that are discovered are listed on the right hand side so you can take a look at them. Now IronWars uh, has uh, a unique feature which is it tells you the exact reason why your vulnerability was discovered. So if you look at this SQL injection, it gives you the exact reason based on which IronWars reported that this vulnerability was present. So by looking at this and uh, by reading this section called false positive assistance check, uh, false positive check assistance, you can determine if a particular vulnerability is an actual vulnerability or if it's a false positive so this uh, comes in really handy and after that you can generate a report as well so you could select which vulnerabilities you want to include in the report 
and uh, you know click on the button and ironverse creates reports in both html as well as rtf format so you could use whichever one is more comfortable for you so this was the report that was generated uh, for the scan that we just did and you could in fact visit ironwars.org slash report.html to view a sample report which is available online to get a good understanding of how a report looks.